What's going on, everybody? Got PSA order back in. They're going a little bit slower. Um, probably sitting on about, I don't know, six to eight weeks on this one. Probably closer to eight without me really looking at it. A lot of these cards, if you guys remember when I did the June show, I think it was, maybe May, I picked a large lot of cards up from the J&J All-Star show. And a lot of them are back graded now, so take a look at some of them. And they're in no particular order except for the last two. Wildcat, I got football. There's nice football. All right. First three cards, I figured out what I did wrong. <laughs> you guys can already probably tell. Cameron Thomas 8, top and bottom centering. I thought it was a little bit closer to get a 9, but way off. Same with Suggs. Same with that one. And look, this one here looks better than the other one. Top and bottom centering. So, don't know. Those are all just go on eBay, start nine nine cents. I mean, I'm, I'm in the cards for two dollars plus grading, so won't be too big of a loss on to it. All right, again, no particular order, guys. Starting off, Big Ben Obsidian Yellow PSA nine, great card. I had to get a nine in Obsidian. It's numbered out of ten. I have not looked these up, so I'm not going to pop any crazy prices up or anything onto it. But really cool piece here. I want to say the Raws were doing like one fifty ish. I could be off, but uh. Very, very nice. Very happy to get the uh, 9 on that one. You guys remember me buying a T-Law? I wanted to get a T-Law piece. I knew this was going to be a solid 8 on to it. As I even told the guy, I showed him my pre-grades last week on to it. Um, basically, the time of the sale, we took the sale and we took uh, $50 off, which I think he made $10 on the card. So, always appreciate the deals. Uh... I think he goes by Jay Malone Sports Cards on Instagram. John, yeah. I, I think we're going to get a 9. I've got a 9. I've been a lot happier. But appreciate the deal. as always on, too. You left me some room to grade it. Uh, I don't know if I'll sell this anytime soon. But there's a lot of, uh, I don't want to say hype, but I'd say more pressure on the T-Law this year from the expectation standpoint. We'll see how he does. We'll see how he does. I think, what's it, week 1? No, week one's Carolina and Atlanta. I don't know who week 1 they have off the top of my head. And I do owe you guys a video, which will be coming out, to start Gridiron Gangs. Before I even forget to mention about it, Gridiron Games will be back this year. Um, I'll go more into that video later on when that video comes out. Probably be this weekend because we're getting ready to wrap up uh, preseason here coming up. And I wanted to try to keep it fresh in everybody's mind instead of starting away early. All right, let's keep going here. Chris Olave, PSA 10 Contenders Auto. We picked this up raw for 50, graded for, I think these were 19 per. They're going for like, I think 110-ish. So a little bit of money there to be made on to Olave. I think he'll do a lot better this year too. Was hoping for a 10 on this. Uh, Phil Foden, stained glass out of select. But we'll take the nine. The nine made me, you know, a couple dollars on it. Nothing crazy onto it. Up next, got this off of, I believe this was Indie Breaks. I wanted on whatnot. Um, paid very cheap onto this, which laid me room to grade it. And these, I think, are still going around 120 ish as a PSA nine. So not bad overall. But Paulo Banchero, stained glass. This is out of the draft picks. Duke Uni. I figured it was a strong nine candidate because of the left and right centering. Figured what the heck, I'm in it low. Let's get it graded and move on with it. All right, a little bit of hockey real quick here. Cider, uh, PSA 10 Young Guns. So this is number two now that I own a him. I sold a lot of these when I first pulled them originally for anywhere from like 250 to 350 Him and Raymond. So now it's, their stuff's down like, I think the last one around Cider's around 110, 120. Then well, I'll just show them both. Two, both Lucas Raymond's both got 10s as well too. So, I mean, pop count, these are like over 2,000 each. So, it's nothing that's like really in demand. But you never know with those two. Um, they could go up. I know Raymond had more playing time last year and such. Pick this up, J&J &J All-Star Show as well. This was still in case by Panini. This was from the young kid and his dad walking around the show. PSA 9, Chet Holmgren. Um, optics, autographs. I don't think this was. Oh, it is numbered out 25. Out of 25. I gotta look that up now because I didn't realize that was out of 25. Huh. Have to look that up. Maybe they were only out of 25. 
Big Ben or Big Ben. Wow, Kenny Pickett. Sorry, Kenny Pickett. I know I'm gonna get probably hazed in comments on that, huh? Reactive Orange PSA 10. This is number two of it. This is the NFL debut, so this will end up going up for uh, probably sale here. Polisic PSA 9 Cubic. I believe these are out of 50. Yeah, out of 50. So Revolution, another Polisic Auto for when soccer comes back around eventually. So moving on, moving on here. Sam Howe, Green Mosaic 9. This was like one of them cards I bought for like two bucks. Great it. I think it'll get me a couple dollars on that one. This one here will get me a little bit more. Sam Howe, this is not the debut, but the Orange Reactive PSA 10. Another one I paid only a couple dollars for, like two bucks, maybe three. Bronze Wagner Optic Copper Glitter. I think the last PSA 10 did between 50 and 60. So really happy, you know, with that. You know, you make $20, $30 here and there. It starts adding up. This was out of a break uh, when I had the Steelers and I pull, pulled that other uh, Pickett Select Rookie Auto out of it. So really in it for nothing. Neon Icons. No idea where these are at. I don't even know if anybody had any of them graded, but got one graded. This was out of the same serial number break. Juju Smith-Schuster. Figured what the heck. It's a white prism. Looked pretty cool the way it was in Chiefs, even though he's a Pat now. It's numbered out 35. Maybe get a couple onto that. Make a couple bucks. All right, moving down. More football. This I picked up, I know, from um, Indie Breaks on what not a while back. Contenders Optic Zappy Silver Auto. Looked really good. Um, came back PSA 10. I want to say these are around 1... 30 to 150, if I recall right. Time for the big boys. Up first, Desmond Ritter, two autograph. We paid two and a quarter raw for this. Um, got up charged $240 on this card. So basically, for $265, last one of these just did $910. Do two before it were over $1,300. This is a big hold for after week one. See what he does against the Panthers. And finally, let's end it with a picket. The Neon Orange Pulsar Prism PSA 10. I paid strong on this because it was picket. I looked it over and I'm like, man, this has such a good shot at a 10. I think we priced this at 600 at the time. I went 550 on my offer for it because it was a Kenny Pickett. The orange was numbered 7 out of 7. Too bad it wasn't Big Ben. Rookie year and stuff like that. I know. Last sold sixteen fifty of this card. Same exact one in a PSA ten. So big, big upside on those two there. Um, really happy overall with the grades onto it. Lots of profit you made. I don't like taking big risks like the well. Really, in the pick, it was the biggest risk out of them all. But if it not, you know, it was like one of them PC cards. Maybe I traded for something else. That I want for a collection, I like a nice cool vintage piece, trade bait type deal. It's not an auto, but still numbered out of seven. That would have been the first off the lines. But that is it for this. So not too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Had some football, so in this one, because we knew football was coming back in. We just got another order of pop today. And I'll show you guys. It's supposed to be shipping out today, too, because I got tracking. Only had a few cards in, I think a total of eight. Six out of eight were tens. One I knew would be a nine. It was a thicker stock card. The other one I was like, okay, I'll take the nine on a, on a, on a, well, I don't want to give it out, but I'll take the nine on the other one. Basically with all the other ones being tens. Was really, really happy with it. But that's it, guys. Appreciate it, as always watching the videos. Look out for me at J&J All-Star this weekend. I will be out buying, of course. I'm um, not setting up. Gridiron Pick'em. I will have that video out this weekend, I want to say. Probably Saturday or Sunday, so that way you guys could register for this year's games. Um, and I'll go more in-depth on that, so I'll take time out of here. So be on the lookout for that video. And if you're at the j, &J All-Star Show, stop by, say hello. I'm only going to be there about two to two and a half hours because i got to skadoodle back home and go to an appointment. All right, guys, take care. Have a good rest of your week. Stay safe, stay hydrated. It is hot out. I'll catch you next one.